All right, welcome back uh, to the channel. First, uh, we want to give you a quick update about Bianca, how her surgery went. It went extremely well. Uh, we chose to go through the microscopic surgery rather than doing the full-blown uh, incision. And obviously, I think that affected her recovery time quite a bit. So we're about two weeks you know, from surgery now. And I mean, looks like, I mean, obviously you can see, you know, barely any kind of, you know, stitching or anything kind of even visible or swelling. Uh, all the stitching was internal for her. So she's doing really well. It was about a five day recovery uh, from her not being allowed to do anything. I would say she was up and running in about three. So we're happy to have her back, uh, be going and training. Hey, we can't do that. Ear infections. So we got a great video planned today. We're going to show you uh, quite a few different things on therapy dogs. Next, I really want to just give a big shout out to you guys again, right? Coming in, uh, supporting us. Uh, last video is doing extremely well, and that's thanks to you giving us likes, comments, uh, reaching out to us on Facebook, Instagram uh, with questions you might have. Uh, how to find a good breeder, what kind of you know different crate we uh, we use, and you know just things of that nature. Happy to help. Uh, so please keep those comments and everything coming. And we'll be do our best to make sure to reach out and uh, give you the best information uh, that we can possible. All right, so it brings us to kind of the topic of today's video. Uh, what is a therapy dog? Uh, what kind of certifications they need? What kind of training do they need? And you know, how to go about it for you and your new for you know your dog as well. We'll have timestamps for all those questions uh, in the description. So if you're like looking to, well, what's kind of the certification process? What do I need to know? You can jump around kind of from there, uh, make it super easy for you to navigate. Okay, to start off, what is a therapy dog, right? So a therapy dog is going to be a dog that provides therapy to others. So it's like Baloo's, since Baloo's a therapy dog, he doesn't provide me any kind of a service. Um, I don't you know, need him for anything of acts of daily living for myself. Uh, but we can go to a hospital, we can go to a, you know, a facility and take him there and provide comfort and emotional support to others. And I think that kind of brings us to a really great point uh, with therapy dogs is going to be really finding something that you're passionate about. So, you know, if that's going and helping the elderly and giving them comfort, if that's going for us, it's really the children's hospital. We really want to go help that, you know, the children's ward and go visit those guys. Um, if it's, you know, going and helping the veterans, which is another one that we're passionate about. And kind of waiting to get into that right now and so those are going to be the things that i would say when you're kind of looking to you know get your dog uh through therapy or get your dog into therapy is going to be what area are you truly looking to benefit or what's the population that you're you're wanting to go serve uh, because there's a lot of opportunities for therapy uh you know especially you know here in the treasure valley and so you know it's going to be truly okay what what spots do you want to benefit the most Okay, so with that, right, uh, you can't just bring a therapy dog into any kind of public place without you know prior permission. So we're not able to just take Baloo to the hospital without, you know, first we went through their whole program uh, to get them into the St. Al's here uh, locally, uh, reaching out to their volunteer, you know, director, asking what their kind of needs and certifications that they were looking for. So that kind of brings us to point two, right? What kind of certification does a therapy dog need uh, technically nothing so kind of like personal training kind of like I would say any number of these kind of services uh, that we have you know here as humans uh, the therapy dog technically doesn't have any big regulating body uh, there are many organizations and reputable organizations uh, throughout the US that you know provide a certification process which helps to screen which helps to you know, make sure your dog and you as a handler have great control uh, to be able to safely navigate uh, through different scenarios. So with that, right, it really kind of depends. I would highly recommend reaching out to whatever organ organization you'd like to volunteer with. So if you're looking to volunteer with the local hospital, uh, I would reach out to their coordinator and see which organization they might go through. Because they might have a specific organization in your area that they work with. So for us, there's really two big organizations here in town, and they 
you just kind of get you into different things from there. Working with dogs, huh? Uh, Baloo likes to pretend he's a, a guard dog every once in a while. So when he sees the neighbor out there, he's got to let him know. But anyways, so with that, right, we want to get into the VA. The VA uses one organization. Uh, the hospital uses another. And so for us, we're actually, we're certified through one currently, and we're getting certified through another here shortly. So that's kind of been our process in making sure our dogs have all the required you know, papers to be able to do all the things that we would like to, to help benefit our community. So with that, right, obviously then what training is needed? Uh, that definitely varies, I'd say, quite a bit by which organization you're looking at. So one of the organizations we were working with, um, I mean, you don't have, your dog doesn't have to know anything, frankly. They don't need to know how to sit. They don't need to know how to heal. They don't need to know how to do, do anything. Um, literally the only requirement when going through their testing is can you control your dog um, when bringing them up to somebody else and so you know that that was truly pretty easy to pass uh, the one big requirement it seems like across the board for all of uh, you know dog breeds um, or sorry all you know organizations is that your dog has to be one years old right so they don't really not looking for like a puppy to be coming in and providing therapy right they do want a somewhat mature dog all right that's going to wrap it up for us today i hope this really helped you you know understand what a therapy dog is and how to you know go be able to service your community in the best way that you would like to provide so from there again big tips i would reach out to whatever you know organization you're looking to go service if it's you know senior homes if it's the va if it's the children's hospital Reach out to them first, find out what organization they might run through. Then reach out to that organization. You'll be able to find you know, what kind of uh, training is needed or what they're gonna be testing on. And then from there, you can train um, and get your uh, therapy dog. So again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please give us a like and uh, hit that subscribe. You guys have really been helping us uh, increase that subscriber watch time. So thanks again.